Ryzen Architecture by Jeremiah Vardman. Ryzen was AMD's first CPU architecture since its bulldozer design. The Ryzen die design began in 2012 and finished four years later in 2016. It was codenamed Zen. The goals were to create a multi-chip module that would support AMD's LEGO philosophy, which was to design once and then scale that design for all applications. Those applications being the Ryzen desktop and notebook processors, Threadripper high-end desktop processors, and the Ryzen Epic server processors. Zen is a 14 nanometer FinFET design. It contains four arithmetic logic units, two address generation units, and was designed as a four core complex commonly called CCX. The CCX, or four core complex, has four Zen x86 cores. Each core has simultaneous multi-threading, providing for eight threads of compute. Each core has L1 and L2 cache, and all four cores share an L3 cache. The Zeppelin die is the system on a chip, or SOC, codename for the die and all the AMD Ryzen product lines. Pictured here, it is two Zen four-core complexes put together on a single die. The Zeppelin die has two channels of DDR4 with error correction, as well as 32 serializer lanes, commonly used as PCIe lanes. Pictured here, you can see the four Zen cores, as well as the L3 cache share between them. Zeppelin has multi-chip uses. It can be scaled to be used on Ryzen, Epic, and Threadripper platforms. Ryzen has one Zeppelin die, Epic has four active Zeppelin dies, and Threadripper has two active Zeppelin dies with two turned off dubbed dummy dies. The number of serial deserializer lanes and channels of DDR4 scale with each active Zeppelin die. The Infinity fabric binds everything together. It is a scalable data fabric or a 256-bit interconnect between the chips. It links the Zen four core complexes within the Zeppelin dies, the Zeppelin dies to each other, the cache and serial serial laser lanes, as well as the DRAM. It uses AMD's open source hyper transport protocol, and it can be desi is designed to be modular and have an extremely high bandwidth, specifically high bandwidth in the Vega compute units. This, having the Infinity Fabric, eliminates the need for multiple on die protocols, as seen in AMD's earlier processors and their competitors' processors, such as Intel. The benefits of Ryzen can be seen when comparing multi chip modules versus system on chips or single dies. Processors with a single die save about 10% on silicon area, but cost about 40% more to manufacture. Also, given the larger dies, they have about 17% lower yields. A theoretical 32-core Ryzen system on chip die, or 32 cores on a single die, would cost a massive 70% more than creating the die as a multi-chip module. Mark Walton from RS Technica praises Threadripper for having so many PCIe lanes at speed, and then Intel's i9 series has fewer PCIe lanes and fewer cores by comparison. As seen in the bottom of this page, AMD Threadripper 1950X costs about $800, and the Intel i9-7900X costs about $1,000. Threadripper has 16 cores and 32 threads, while Intel, which is $200 more expensive, has 10 cores and 20 threads. The benefits of Ryzen can be seen here.